if my hair looks frizzy, it's probably because it's rainy outside. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kelly and I am bringing you guys a review video today. So I just received this palette in the mail this morning and I've been waiting almost a month to receive it. So I'm super excited to bring you this video today. I've been planning on making this video since I pre-ordered it. So yeah, I'm super excited to talk about it today. So, the palette that I have to review for you guys is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition BH Cosmetics Palette. So, it comes in this little sleeve right here, and I don't know if you guys can see that well. I will zoom in on it in a minute, though. Um, this has the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition 21 Color Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette, and this is all in rose gold, um, except this, this bottom part here is black. Not that it really matters. It has the same like cushioning background that it had on the other palette, her smaller one. Here is a close-up of the palette. And then you could also see the back here where it has her name, description of the ingredients, and then a small preview picture of it right here. Okay, so when you open the palette up, again, it looks the exact same, except it just looks a little bit different on the back because it doesn't have the preview picture. But yeah, pretty much the exact same as the sleeve. So, I have her other palette right here, the smaller one. This is the comparison size. They are the exact same width, but the Deluxe Edition is about maybe like a quarter of the size larger, taller. And it is also a little bit thicker on the side. So just for reference, I'm going to show you what the inside of the smaller palette looks like. With the smaller palette, you get 47.6 grams of product in here, and in the deluxe edition, you get you get 30 grams of product in here. So you actually get less product, believe it or not, in the deluxe edition. But the difference is obviously you get more shades, you get more highlighters. Um, I'm gonna guess that the pans are probably not as deep as they are in the smaller palette, but again, you are getting like pretty much double the size, almost double the size of what you're getting in here as far as shade selection. So that is the difference between the two. Okay, so now for the original palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this a hundred times. It says inspire, aspire to inspire here on the mirror part. And then here it has 10 eyeshadows and 4 highlight shades. So I actually have a few tutorials using this palette. I will link them below. One of them is a drugstore prom makeup. To be honest with you guys, I'm obsessed with this palette. I use it all the time, especially this topper right here because I'm a huge like rosy pink fan. I also love this shade right here to use just all over the lid. Um, and then as far as the highlighters, I could use these first three. Obviously, this one's a little too dark for me. I also dug my nail in it, which is really annoying. I dug my nail in this one too. <laughs> Not as bad as that one though. Um, but yeah, I use these two the most just because they fit my skin color the most. I'm fake tan right now, and under all these lights, I look paler than I actually am in person also, so keep that in mind. Um, but I do get away with this gold color once in a while, especially when I have that like super deep dark tan. So this is the palette up close. I know that the exposure is a little high, so it's hard to see this one particular shade up here. It's just like um, a yellow-based cream shade, so yeah. I'm sure that you guys have seen this a ton of times. There's been people using tutorials, doing reviews, Carly Bible herself has used this in so many videos, so I'm sure that you're familiar with that palette. Also, I wanted to mention that these are actually discontinued as of um, since the Deluxe Edition launched. I know that they do still have these in Ulta because I work at Ulta myself, so I know um, that they do have them and they, I'm not sure if they're on clearance yet, but they're definitely still being sold in stores. Um, as far as online, I'm not sure if you can get it online, but if you can, I will definitely link it down below. Other than that, I know some Ulta stores may still carry it. Here is the Deluxe Edition. Like I mentioned, there are 21 eyeshadow and highlighters in this palette. So, let's open this baby up. Okay, so I'm sure you can hear the angels singing because this is one of the most gorgeous palettes as far as the aesthetics and just like visually pleasing to my eyes. This is one of the most beautiful palettes that I've ever seen in my life. Um, so again, this has Aspire to Inspire, the same quote that was on the other palette, um, and it does have a larger mirror, which I appreciate, even though most of the time I don't use the mirrors on the palettes anyway. Let's move on. I love the marble background idea. Um, it's just 
beautiful to look at like when you're doing your makeup you know like it kind of inspires me to create something because it just has this beautiful background setting I know that sounds really dumb but it just does you know if you love makeup you understand what I'm talking about Okay, so I'm going to start by talking about which shades are the same in the two of these palettes. So you can decide which palette you would rather purchase. I know that this is going to be out. I I think she said a year. I'm definitely going to link it down below and get more info on it. But I'm pretty sure she, she said that this... Um, this deluxe edition is only going to be out for a year. But she did say this about this too and it ended up being longer, I think. So... I don't know. I'll figure it out and write it all down below. And also, I'll link Carly's video down below because she explains everything as well. Okay, so I just want to put a disclaimer. I'm not a thousand percent sure. She did say herself that some of them are the exact same shades, but I'm just going to talk about the ones that look comparable and, like, extremely similar. So that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this cream shade down here, available in the first palette, as well as this... Um, rosy shade right here. I'm not sure if it's the exact same shade, but it's pretty comparable to the third in the top row. This shade here is again similar to the fourth in the top row, and then this one is similar to the fifth in the top row. This one is similar to the last eyeshadow in the first palette. Um, this one is similar to the second eyeshadow in the first palette, and that is pretty much all that are similar. Um, this brown shade is also in the first palette, but it's a little bit more of a satin finish, and this one is a matte. So personally, I like the mattes better because I can put the mattes in my crease. This, this shade right here is comparable to the second highlighter shade in her first palette. This, These two are comparable. Actually, I think they are the same as the last two highlighter shades. These two highlighter shades down here I feel like is what she mixed together to make the first highlighter shade in her original palette because these two kind of mixed together look like that one, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> the rest of the shades that I didn't mention are brand new to this palette and I believe exclusive to this palette, not like any BH Cosmetics shade by itself. So I do have both the eyeshadows and the highlighter on my face today. I don't know if you could even see the highlighter because my lighting is just like, I don't even know what it is right now. But yeah, I have the gold shade, which is... Um, this shade right here on my highlighter area. <laughs> okay, so then as far as the eyeshadows, I have to say I think I like the, the quality of the shadows better than the original. I have used the original to death, but I think that these are a little bit more higher quality, which is kind of what I expected from Carly because I know that she's really big on, you know, making sure that everything is good that she puts her name on. So the fact that she upped the formula or kind of improved it a little bit. So I definitely have to say that that is something that I admired about this palette. I feel like the formula of the matte shades are pretty much the same. They were really great to start out with, so I'm completely fine with that. As far as the satin shades, I feel like in the newer palette they are a little bit creamier and a little bit easier to apply to the lid, which I clearly appreciate. I also like how she kind of took the shades from her first palette and kind of like expanded them so that you're able to have a crease color for every skin tone, a darker color for every skin tone, a lighter color for every skin tone, a pink color for every skin co skin tone, just the way that she like created and the color scheme that she picked with this palette. I really, really admire how she stepped up her game as far as that. Another thing about this palette is that it's only $19.50 right now, and then eventually I believe it will be $22.50. The fact that you get so much shade selection in this palette, I think that's an amazing price. I do have to say I'm a little bit disappointed on how the actual size of the shades are a little bit um, lacking. They're definitely less than the first palette. That is a minor disappointment, but, you know, it, it's a not, that, not a drugstore, but it's like a lower priced brand to begin with, an inexpensive brand, so I don't think it's something to like cry about. Overall, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I really enjoyed using the colors today. Um, as far as which one you need, personally, I would rather get the Deluxe Edition just because it has more shades. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like they're both really great palettes. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. If you guys want a tutorial, if you guys want a prom look or anything, just leave me a comment down below and thumbs up this video. If you would like to see the swatches of this entire palette, then stick around.
Okay guys, and that's all that I have to say. I hope that you guys like this review and swatches of the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. If you did, please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!